Hello, Phil Burrell, Area Manager for Yarra UK, uh, based in Lincolnshire, covering Lincolnshire and, uh, and Nottinghamshire. I'm currently stood indoors out of the wind because it's quite windy, but I have been walking all seed rate this morning. That's what I'm just going to give a quick update on. I've been in three fields, very different grow stages, as is the case with most all seed rate crops this year. The first field drilled on the 11th of August um, got away really well, as did most crops drilled at that time. Uh, four inches of rain at the end of August probably helped. Um, there certainly wasn't lacking in moisture. Uh, it had fertilizer at drilling, um, and you can see it's, it's, not, it's not holding back at all. A uh, very big crop, um, almost looking like a, a Brussels sprout plant. Uh, the second field I went in, as you can see, it's uh, a bit smaller. That was drilled on the 31st of August. Um, it's got four good leaf. Um, the volunteers have not long been taken out. Um, flea beetle not really hitting it too hard. So yeah, it, it's, it's a reasonable crop. The final field is struggling. Um, this field was drilled on the 7th of September. Uh, recent rain, end of last week, we had around 40 mil, that will, will have helped. Um, but the flea beetle are hitting it. They're, they're not, the pressure's not huge, but they are hitting it and it is struggling. So three different crops, how would we treat them? I think it's fair to say the crop that's the smallest I, I get asked, will foliar nutrition help? The, the biggest issue is, is there enough foliage to actually hit? I'm not sure there is. Uh, for me, you want to be at the stage of the second field. Um, two to four true leaves, so you've got, you've got uh, you know, enough foliage to hit. Obviously, those were dry, drilled on fairly wide rows. Um, if you were drilling conventionally, then yes, you, you've, you've clearly got more, more foliage to hit with a smaller plant. Um, in terms of nutrition, what should we be thinking about then? Key nutrients for rape, boron, magnesium, molybdenum. Um, they'll be the key nutrition. A product like Yara Vita Brassitrol Pro has all of those nu nutritional elements in one can with a bit of nitrogen to also give that crop a boost and some calcium. Brassitrol Pro over the years in trials, uh, five years worth of trials, has averaged between a quarter and 0.33 tonnes a hectare from a autumn and spring application that's two and three litres so the higher rate giving a, giving a bit of a yield increase. Um, this is also backed up with on-farm performance because Brassitrol Pro as a product is growing year on year in a falling market um, so it's got to be delivering. If it wasn't delivering out on the field um, we, we wouldn't see the performance of the product like we are doing. Um, so for me, looking at around two to two to three litres, you know, two and a half litres is a good rate. It fits cans or in 10 litre cans. Um, you know, at, at around 10 pounds a hectare, that's going to deliver a good margin over input cost. Uh, with all seed rape at 325, 350 quid, 370 quid with bonuses, you know, that, that, that doesn't take much to pay for itself. Widely compatible, so can be used with uh, graminicides, although I wouldn't compromise blackgrass control, widely compatible with, with autumn fungicides. Um, so yeah, I, I would look to apply that product once we're at the four to six true leaf stage um, to help with winter hardiness, you know, prevent winter losses, and also it, it, it ensures that crop has got a supply of nutrients so that when it wants to take off and start growing in the spring, there is nothing holding it back. So should we get larval infestation? Should we have pigeon problems? You know, it's all about helping that crop and maximizing that, that potential as it comes out of winter. Because if you've got a crop established of all rape, it is still one of the most profitable break crops on an arable farm. Um, that's all for now. For, for, for more information, check out the website um, and I'll hopefully be back out in the field once we've got some cereals to look at. Thanks for now.